Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have our weekends, what's sold for you? It is Monday, I think this video is gonna be going up today on Monday because we haven't really recorded any other videos over the weekend and yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy. We're gonna start pulling what's sold for us over the weekend, which is quite a bit, right? Yeah. So we had just like split this in half it's probably close to 40 if not 40. and we did end up shipping some stuff out yeah, saturday I saturday sent morning out. we didn't and record like, we're still kind of i mean we're gonna probably keep running that sale so yeah so a lot of things are still selling uh -oh. for 50 percent off but also making some good sales as well i'll fix that later dm nike yeah you guys can see we're running out of space Oh my goodness. And then these are sticking together. Oh my. <laughs> we need a bigger office. <laughs> All right. We need to also make sure we put those back in DM yeah. before we get too carried away. So Simmons Nike, they are pretty beat up. Uh, one of them has like a big chunk out of the, the bottom right yeah. there. Got these at a garage sale for $2. I didn't even notice that when I bought them, even though I looked them over really well. But since I'd already bought them, I have them. I was like, the whole thing doesn't go like all the way through. So I mentioned that and I still was able to sell them for $16 plus shipping. So not too bad. Okay. Still like a $13, $14 profit. I will take that. And because we have so much, I won't like bore you with how we're shipping every single yeah, thing today. Yeah, we have but... so much to go through. We can't really go through all the shipping. But we do that in typically all of our other What's Sold videos. So if you do want to see what we end up shipping stuff in, make sure you check out our other videos. This is just a pair of my son's old Nike joggers. Bought them for probably 10, 12 bucks. Sold for seven sixty-six plus shipping. They were pretty worn. So yeah. making back maybe $6 on those. Very happy with that. And heading over to CE. You want to put those back up in there while you're no. over here? I can't even reach it. <laughs> I'll do it. You're so cool. <laughs> yeah, we're so out of space. We're actually going to be working on this rack this week um, because that's kind of like a death pile, kind of. I don't know. The top, the very top shelf is listed, right? Except for those. Okay, so it's. <laughs> So th that's something yeah. that and we need to take care of. Half of them I'm just debating on like redonating because yeah. I missed something or other or they're missing a size right? or whatever reason. A lot of them are from the bins anyways. Like these would have been a great sale, but like as I'm going to photograph them, I realize they kind of sit wonky. Yeah. So nobody probably wants that, right? So right. They came from the bins. Might as well just... Redonate that way. If someone does want them, they can at least try them on themselves first. Yeah, I think we're gonna just go through one by one Stuff and like kind that. of ask ourselves, if we had the whatever it costs five dollars again to buy them, would we buy them again? Right. right. If the answer is no, probably no. Dollars. We're just gonna write it off. Yeah, it's know, probably gonna be like getting rid of it all. Put ourselves through this so often. Like, yeah. It's such like a mental game. Like, <laughs> oh, it's it's five dollars. It's not even the money. I'm just like, man, I bought it. I feel like right. I should make myself list it, even yeah. though. Which, you know, I think it's important to make yourself list it sometimes. But then, yeah, like if they have a problem, even if you point out the issue, if they didn't understand or whatever, then yeah. it's another problem. Yeah. And then more money lost than just the initial right. $5 or whatever. I think in, a, in this situation, it's better Especially just to kind of like have a clean items. slate. Like, come on, yeah, like a dollar item. or two. Right. <laughs> and it is a write-off. We track it all what it all costs, so we could just write it off. Yeah, right? that's so. true. So we're probably going to be doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got these Keen shoes for $9.99, sold them for $23.97 plus shipping. Those sat a while, that's why they sold for that much. Normally I can get around $40 for these, so I don't know what about this particular pair nobody wanted for more like $40, but mm -hmm. still about doubling my money. All right, uh, headed to L actually. Patagonia vest. This one's been listed since last winter. It did end up in our 50% off sale, I believe. And then I sent an additional offer as well recently. He was just laying on his back. <laughs> we caught <laughs> him and he- he puts his feet like straight up in the air. You sneaky guy. <laughs> uh, anyways, spot this Patagonia vest. It's like a vintage made in the USA, but it's just plain black. So 
bought for $10.99, sold for $28.44 plus ship, which isn't great for Patagonia, but it's not in the best of shape. It has like typical fleece, like wash wear and stuff. And being that it's just a plain black, it's not too special, you know. Yeah. The printed fleeces are gonna do way better than that. Yeah. All right, BX. These were, we bought these last week um, when we did your haircut. Oh, yeah. I got those on uh, new shoes. Bought for $7.99, sold for $49.95 plus shipping, so not too bad. Very nice. Yeah, I love it when they sell within, like, the first week. So Almost paid for my haircut. Yeah. <laughs> well, not quite. Chris maybe maybe more, my beard trim. Chris gets more expensive haircuts than I do. <laughs> I do. That's my uh, my self-care, I guess. I get, like, a like a nice haircut, and she trims my beard. I'm just messing with them. I think it's good that she does it. <laughs> the thing I like is I just go in, and I sit down, and I don't have to explain what I want, right? She's just, like, starts cutting. That's, yeah. that's what I pay for, basically. <laughs> All right, so these champion shorts for $9.98 plus ship. I bought them for $2.50, so only about a $5 profit happening here, but those ended up in the sale. Been listed a long time. Okay, CL. Yes, we can fit those in there now. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, sold these New Balance Minimus for my full list price on Posh of $59. I bought them for $9.99, so really good sell there. This is why I like shoes, guys. Yeah, yeah. 10 into 59, 8 into 50, like... Fairly right quick, shoes, too. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. They're just good sellers. Just check your sell-through rate of the things you're picking up. Yeah. Well, you moved over there. I'm sure I have something to pull from there. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> uh, so these men's Hurley shorts bought for seven, sold for 19 plus shipping. Uh, BS is over here. Skechers white. Ooh. This was a cool sale just because. So these are like the Y2K type shoe. But look how bad. Yeah. Like they're yellow. Some yellowing. There's cracking on the leather. They're just gross. <laughs> like honestly. I bought them because I knew that they would sell for around $50, and they sold for exactly $50. Uh, and I bought them for $10.99, so yeah. into $50. So. Another one. I will take it. Another one. All right, shoe shelf box. Yay, I got some space on the shoe <laughs> shelf. Yeah, you see we're... We're full up, and that's why we are kind of working on that other rack. That's right, kind of be... like, it's about to be winter snow boot season, so yeah. I'm going to want to buy a lot of boots. So, yep. yeah, we need some space for those. Anyways, these ones also sold for my full list price on Posh of $59. I did pay $14.99 for these because they almost always sell for $40 to $50 plus shipping. So I knew I could at least double my money. They're a little dusty, so I'll wipe those down before I ship them off. Okay, DQ. This one's a Bass Pro fleece. Oh, is that in the closet? I think it is. <laughs> Don't look at my mess. <laughs> okay, it's just... Packaging. Yeah, it's just what? packaging material and stuff. Yeah. I like getting those big fleeces out. And this one came from the bin, just a Bass Pro fleece pullover. Dollar O two cost of goods sold for twenty with discount shipping on Posh. All right, this actually is the next one, and I already got this out because I needed to make sure with the weight and everything I was still under first class, and I am even in this big box. Right. This bra and this big box are still first class. So uh, I actually bought this from a another just uh, Instagram friend. Um, she was having a sale in her shop one day to raise money for like a vet bill. So just bought some stuff from her to basically resell. So my cost of goods is $10.90 and I sold this one for $29.95 plus shipping. So Okay. So I guess we are showing you how we're shipping that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll probably put the bra in like um Yeah, like a little poly, poly mailer. Yeah. Yeah. Just to keep it a little more protected. All right, C N. I think more for presentation than anything else, really. I think this was the sale of the weekend. These are some Jordan 11s. All right. Uh, I got these free from Dalton at Dealing with Dalton. I was in one of his whatnot shows, but something. I, I don't remember like what I had to do to be in the giveaway. I must have bought something. 
Anyways, then they spin the wheel at the end, and whoever it landed on got the shoes, so that was me. Um, so how many somethings have you bought on whatnot where you don't I even remember what it was? <laughs> I mean, this was like a month ago. I'm joking around with you. So, She's on whatnot. But I have bought a lot of somethings on whatnot. Yeah, to buy, yeah. And to sell. Like, I buy things for myself that usually don't end up fitting, and right, then I buy right. things to sell because they're just cheap. Yeah. Not to yeah. sell on whatnot, but right. to buy from mm-hmm. whatnot to resell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I bought a pair of shoes for myself, <laughs> which entered me into a giveaway to win these shoes for free. And these shoes sold for $109 on Mercari. Nice. Like a $94 profit for me. Thanks, Dalton. And, of course, the shoes I bought for myself did not fit, so those are listed in my store. Right. Um, so those will sell when they sell. Hopefully, I'll break even or close to it. But if I lose a couple dollars, I made a lot on these. So it yep. was still worth it. Dalton is a reseller. He got he has a YouTube channel dealing with Dalton, and he obviously sells on whatnot. So <laughs> go check out his whatnot sales. He does shoes. Yeah. Only. <laughs> so. <laughs> C.D. Abercrombie. I see. This tank top on a garage sale for a dollar, sold for seven dollars on Mercari, so like a five dollar some change profit there. Not that shoe money. Nope. <laughs> Box L. We have spaces. Yeah, I'm a, we, you know, pull them all out when you pull something big out, leave the box out a little bit because we do <laughs> yeah, have, we have this whole hook and We've got to that it. to put away, that whole bag to put away. Yeah. <laughs> Probably and too. he's not helping one bit. Rude. <laughs> uh, this fairly like thermal, I bought for seven, sold for sixteen forty four plus shipping. So, again, not huge money. I did have several of these, so I do like those multi quantity listings. Uh-oh, we're going to BD. <laughs> Can I do it without waking him up? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Good boy. <laughs> you can stay. Oh, you can stay. Good boy. That sound the noise him of the bag. <laughs> no. Oh, I get noise. He's a good boy, though. Where is him? Where is him? Yeah. For those of you that were concerned, Reese is feeling a lot yes. better. I think he just has, a, you know, like a couple days a month where he just wakes up. Maybe he slept weird or wrong or something. Maybe he didn't sleep at all. I don't know. I get those days. Well, I had one of those days last night. <laughs> we didn't sleep. Neither of us slept really yeah. good last night. So. It was like getting hot. I don't know if our AC just wasn't. Right. I don't know. Hopefully we can sleep better tonight. <laughs> Uh, bought this Oshkosh overall for 99 cents. Ended up selling for 7.48 plus shipping on our 50% off sale. Right to AS. Some Asics bought for 7.99. Sold for 20.97 plus shipping. Those were in one of the percent off sales. Those did sell global shipping though. So even though I'm only getting like 20.97 plus ship. I feel like the buyer paid like eighty dollars. I didn't check where they were going, but that's a lot for a pair of basics. Yeah. Uh, so these Birkenstocks for twenty nine plus ship to our viewer Lori. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lori. Lori, thank you. <laughs> um, I bought those for nine ninety nine, but she bought them within one day of listing. So thank you so much. Sweet. Lori. Thank you so much for that support. Hope you love the sandals, and yeah, I do have more, but let's pick Yeah, let's get these bagged up, and I don't know, we could probably stack them on that wall over there. That'd be kind of cool. So we'll be back in a minute. All righty, got everything all bagged and boxed up over there. Actually, we uh, wiped those mm-hmm. down, and they're still a little wet, so we're going to let them dry while we are pulling the okay. second half. All right, so CN... <laughs> Who'd you go, boy? Oh, oh you want to tell me, bro? You want to tell me, bro? Good boy. Good boy. Hey, sweet guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a Robert Graham shirt. Uh, I bought for five ninety nine. Ended up selling on one of our sales for fourteen dollars plus shipping. Uh, definitely, Robert Graham is not what it used to be. That also was not that cute of a shirt. Right. <laughs> In my opinion. Um, But yeah, I'm sure some of the stuff can still do really well, but I guess be more selective if you're still picking it up. Yeah. All right, take X. Pair of sass, which I did mention the other day I'm more picky on, which these I thought would sell around 40 because 
Usually the hook and loop Velcro sneakers tend to do well, but also these were just like in great shape. Mm -hmm. And I thought like this neutral type color would just do well, but it didn't. So it ended up in one of our sales, sold for $19.97 plus ship. I bought for $8.99, so about doubling my money there. Okay. All right. So, yes, even with shoes, right. everything's going to be a home run. But you know what? Um, Doubling your money. Like, <laughs> that's a home run, right? I like, I think so, <laughs> like, but I know other people think, I know. Well, your time is more valuable. But honestly, if I can make 10 bucks in 10 minutes, that's essentially $60 an hour. That's pretty good. That's pr yeah, <laughs> right. that's like, pretty good. You that's, do that for all day long. Is like that higher hours. than the median income? Probably, yeah. right? I don't know what people. 60 bucks an hour is per year, right? I mean, what, like even like $15 an hour, which is like what minimum wage these days. Right. It's probably like $30,000 a year only still. Yeah. So it's quite a bit the more than The difference is like. <laughs> when you work for yourself, you don't only have to work 40 hours. Right. Right. You could do $60 an hour. Yeah. Obviously, we're just throwing out these numbers. Yeah, like, and also like... <laughs> We don't look at each individual sale. Right. Like, oh, I only got nine dollars out of that. You know, I would just look at my shoes for the month and be like, "Well, my shoes are the highest yeah. selling category, and I made this much profit divided by this many shoes." That's really good. Yeah. These ones, I'm barely making anything off of. Maybe a dollar or two. Little baby Saucony bought for seven thirty six, sold for twelve forty eight plus shipping. I've sold these exact ones in the past for like twenty to twenty five. So things change. I'm gonna have to step on your battery, you see. <laughs> he doesn't care. I know, he He's over there using a rollerblade as a pillow. <laughs> You're a weirdo, Reese. All right, so this Wildflowers penny dress that I got from Destiny when we did a swap box. Shout out, Destiny. Thank you <laughs> again. Um, so no cost of goods to me at this point. Sold for $14.98 plus shipping. Awesome. Destiny, thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. It was super fun. Yeah. Like she said, she'd want to do it again someday. Someday when we get our death pile gone. Yeah. Uh, so never. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> no. I can't. Like, wait, remember when we got rid of our death pile? I know. And then, like, I... Oh, Reese. You step on my baby. I did step on his you foot a little bit, but I didn't put any weight on it. Now you need to get a treat. You want... <laughs> you want a treat? You want one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has no control on his bite anymore. I sold this Polar Ralph Lauren. It's 100% linen, just like a black blazer. Bought at a garage sale, which we have a video of, for $5. That was a funny garage sale because the guy was just uh, very chatty <laughs> to Chris. And I was, like, trying to look at stuff, but he, like, had a story about basically everything. So... <laughs> Also didn't yeah. want to stay around too long, but I got some really good stuff from him. Um, I wish I would have got more. I was being, I don't know. I just was like, I don't like like conversating too much. <laughs> like if I don't know you, like. Right. Like at a garage sale, like I want to go pick out right. and leave. Not that I don't want to conversate, but like. On grad days, you kind of like in a rush, like I yeah, have to get yeah. to as many and, as you can, so. You know, like they were nice. It was a nice yeah. couple, but they were the kind of people that would you would look at something yeah. and they would have a story about, about it, it yeah. so, so then you're like oh, how yeah they get a want for all this stuff so i was te testing them out with a couple things at first and when yeah. they were saying like five dollars i was like okay i can probably right. get anything i want here for a good enough price to flip this one was a great one though bought for five sold for 99.95 plus shipping yeah so that's awesome um, yeah very nice very, very nice. Does that make having to talk to people worth it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'd rather make less profit and like, just be completely uh. silent. Yeah, he had some really good shoes that he was asking for like 20 a pair. And maybe if we were like, we'll take them all, he might have done like 10 a pair. Yeah. We're talking like. Um, he was a car salesman, brands, so he had yeah, he a lot had of nice like, wardrobe. They were all nice like brands that probably cost $200 new. Yeah. So. We think he might have been a little bit of a reseller, too. Yeah, he, he had, had a bunch of shoe boxes in his thing, <laughs> The shoe too, box so. shelf thing, yeah. Anyhow, bought these little mini <laughs> Melissas for $8.99. Sold them for $35 off. So that was a really good sale for some kid shoes. All right, Mac boots. That's these ones. I already pulled them out because they were in this bin, which is a bin of stuff that's too big to fit in our yeah. plastics, in our boxes. And this shelf has been full. So that's a bin of... She's probably like, gonna go fit. on that rack yeah, once we get that one handled so that 
is like a Chelsea work boot. It is like a composite toe. I did pay up at $21.99 for these, and honestly, I didn't even look up comps. They were just in really good shape. Yeah. And usually any like work boot you can get like $50 for, so I took a chance. When I looked at comps, they were like bad. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I can't at least make my money back. But honestly, these sold for $63 with discount shipping, which I think is way more than the comps that I was seeing on eBay. These sold on Posh. There you go. Yeah, so not bad. Uh, more than doubled my money there still, so. Very nice. In spite of the comps. Yeah. <laughs> You just set a new comp. That's yeah. You know, honestly, like a lot of times when I look at comps, they're not. I still price way higher and still get my like ask price or close to it. Yeah. So don't use comps as like an end all be all. Right. Um, a lot of times it's going to depend on condition. If yours is the only size listed and that person wants that, they're just going to buy them. Sometimes it can even be like photographs, right? Like yeah. if the photos are good Nicer or bad. Or just right place, right time kind of thing, you know? Faster shipping. Yeah, there's all yeah. kinds of things that buyers look for that right. can just be the happened, determining factor. Just happened, they were factor. looking that yeah. day and yours was a brand new listing that day. Yeah. Showed up at the top of the search, so. This was a really good sale. These are just Brooks, which has definitely felt like it's going down in value. Yeah. I used to be able to sell them for at least like 50. Um, now it's probably more like 30 to 40. This pair though was base. these look like almost brand new without box. And they're cool. They're like not tie. They're just kind of like a slip on. Yeah. And like a slip on I, running shoe. Yeah. Levitate. These I bought for ten ninety nine, and sold for seventy five dollars on Posh. So that was a really good. Very video. nice. Yeah. For Brooks. All right. D A. This one. I feel like I thought when I accepted the offer that I had paid less for the shoes than I actually paid for the shoes. So not losing money, just not profiting as much as I hoped on these ones. These are New Balance. Um, they're just tech ride, and honestly, most New Balance are just thirty to forty dollar type shoes, mm -hmm. which these probably were as well. But I priced them a little higher because they looked basically brand new, and they were like a good size, I believe, maybe even a wide fit. Um, but anyways, bought them for eighteen ninety nine, which is a lot. Yeah. Um, but I sold them for forty. I think this was on Posh, so making thirty two. So. Ten, twelve dollar profit. There. Yeah, nothing huge. I mean that makes I sense. I bought them for like ten ninety nine. Right, it makes so. sense that you would have thought that you would have spent about yeah, that because you don't typically spend. spend eighteen bucks right. on a no, purchase. Definitely not on New Balance. I usually right. would spend like up to twenty on boots and stuff because um, boots usually sell for fifty plus, and right. I'm gonna at least double up. But yeah. All right, A R. Where are you? It's funny. Talk about Reese using pillows. <laughs> he is resting his head on that bin. <laughs> When he has a pillow <laughs> right here, a big one. <laughs> uh, Reese, you have a bed made out of a pillow. <laughs> All right. Sold some dance goes. These are like a nice tooled leather nursing cloth. Bought for $10.99, sold for $40. Okay. Uh, CL. These are some men's Quicksilver Slim Chunks, which I did accept a $10 offer on only because when I bought them, I didn't realize like where they tie. One of the like little loopholes is, I don't know if it was ripped or what. It, like they could still tie and everything's normal. Does it but have like was, a grommet, like a metal yeah, like, ring yeah, that was missing or something? Missing, yeah. So. Anyways, I bought these for $4.99. First offer I ever got was 10. I disclosed the flaws, so. Yeah. Um, I made my five dollars back and maybe two extra dollars there. All right, AI got a viewer sale going out to Chrissy. The Volcom Windbreaker we showed in our recent bins haul, and um, Chrissy got this on Posh four nineteen with discount shipping. So thank you so much, Chrissy. Awesome, Chrissy. Thank you so much for that support. Yeah, when I originally. Uh, talked about this. I thought it was like a girl's, but as we went to list it, we did the measurements. I'm like, this is no way this is a girl's mm -hmm. like 12. Like our niece is about that size. And I was like, this would be huge on her. Right. Um, and then when I like Google lensed it, it pulled up as women's. The measurements made sense to like a women's. So. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you again, Chrissy. You, sh you buy from us all the time. So thank yeah. you for all that continued support. And she lives in Colorado Springs. Too, hey. So. <laughs> All right, P, Lucky Brand. Let's think of what, so that was Lucky Brand. Oh yeah, yeah, jeans. 
Where you at? I see. Is this? Garritos. He touched them. Go with your first gut. <laughs> This was another one where I thought that like, I got these at the bins. I was sending offers on Posh on Sunday, only on clothes, because we're trying to get rid of a lot of the clothes that we have listed um, so that we can have more shoes. And anyways, I wasn't even really paying attention to like how much I'd make off stuff, because like I kind of wanted to move a lot of it. Yeah. So that's what happened here. I didn't get these at the bins. I bought these at a garage sale for five, sold for 17 with discount shipping. So still making some profit, not as much as I had thought. But happy to have the space back. Uh, now headed to box Q. We have another viewer sale. There you are. There you are. There you are. <laughs> the little Hatley. Cute. Super cute. Uh, seahorse little bathing suit. Uh, sold to our viewer Devin for 10 with discount shipping. So that was one of the offers I was sending out on Sunday. So thank nice. you so much, Devin. Awesome. Hope your baby looks adorable. Yeah, Devin, this. thank you so much for that support. <laughs> okay, Ben, oh, that's, this is one of my kid oh, items that I haven't put away yet. Cool. Right on top. Makes life easy. This is an Appa Man floral shirt. Bought this for my son. Off kid is in for 15. He wore it a few times this summer. I sold it for 18 with free ship back on kid is in. I think I sold it. Yeah, I sold it on kid is in. So sweet. Um, I did use pirate ship to ship this because it only weighs like two ounces and kid is in does not have that four ounce label option. So I was able to ship it for 372. So I'm only losing a couple dollars and my son got to wear it. Very nice. Yeah. And if you didn't know, uh, first class mail does have a couple different levels, right? So you got yeah. this. Four, eight, four, eight, and 1260. 12, yep. So if you didn't know, I, yeah. that was something that I feel like I didn't learn until way later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people still don't realize, like, so if you have, like, say, a nine ounce package, you might as well just type 12. It's the same right. price. You give yourself a little wiggle room. If the post office says your package weighed more than it did, at least yeah. you have that wiggle room. So if you didn't know, it's just a little trick. Yep. Uh, these Nikes, I think these are called like James Harden or something, maybe. I don't Some know. Kind of pro ball player or something? I don't even know. Um, I, I could just tell when I picked these up that these were like a nicer quality Nike. Mm -hmm. Nike makes a ton of shoes. A lot of them only sell in that $30 range. This I could tell felt nice, so I did look it up. The thrift store had them priced at $19.99, so that's why I was like, I'm not going to pay it unless it's worth it, which it did seem like it was. I feel like comps were around $80. So that's where I listed at, although they've been sitting a while. But I've gotten so many just like, what's your lowest, what's your lowest? I was like, come on, please buy these shoes. <laughs> Anyways, I sent out an offer of 68 the other day and somebody finally bought them. So hopefully no issues because I don't want them back or anything to happen like that. Right. But yeah, 1999 into 68 plus ship on eBay. So about a $35 profit still even paying 20. Yeah. So that was a worth it to pay up. Right. These are some Tory Burch flats. These were actually my personal shoes that I bought off Kittizen a while back for $40. And I sold them on eBay for $64.95 plus ship. So still making some profit. I yeah. wear them quite a bit as well. So and these are pretty... Like, I, the person I bought them from on Kittizen left the, the like the thrift price. store price on there. So I covered that up with marker. But you can see these are really worn, worn. and stuff. And yeah. they still sold for $65. I mean, these retail over $200. So... It's a nice color, nice and neutral. Yeah, that's the dream though, right? Yeah. Like being able to buy and sell your own your own wardrobe and profit off of it basically. And have nice stuff like <laughs> Tory Burch stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, sold some Dansko flats, bought for $9.84, sold for $30.80 plus ship on Facebook this weekend. Is that my only Facebook sale? That might be my only Seems Facebook like sale. Seems like it. Mm-hmm. All right, and then 80, lastly. This one I'm barely making a couple bucks off of, maybe. But this has been listed well over a year. So I am glad to see it go. Pretty sure this is it, but we'll double check before I put it in a package. It's a Oakley, just like a quilted women's vest, bought for $5.99, sold for 12 with discount shipping. So maybe making like a dollar or two. Yeah. After a year, that is okay with me. Yeah. Get rid of it. Get it gone. Sweet. So I think we'll go ahead and pack this stuff up, and then we'll meet back after that. 
All righty, guys, got everything all packed and boxed, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Didn't take too long. Just had to lint roll that <laughs> blazer. That wasn't yeah. too bad. It wasn't. We're almost out of brown boxes, so gotta use our eBay coupon. Yeah, and we do have to put a big order in for our oh, uh, USPS, USPS boxes. So we recently went through the the trailer. We have a trailer, and we keep all that stuff, all our extra boxes out there. But was there anything else you wanted to say before we head out? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we do have to get going. The kids are about to be out of school, and Kathy's going to take them to Taekwondo tonight, and I'm going to stay and edit this video and hopefully get this one out today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support today. We really do appreciate all of that, and we will see you guys. Sorry, Reese is over here. i got to show you real quick. He's curling up. I love when he curls up under his mm -hmm. feet. <laughs> anyway, guys, say thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Reese. Bye.